Hey, Claude Hoppers, just wanted to talk to you about kombucha today. Um, we have almost finished our first, first batch of kombucha, and we have a second batch that's brewing in their bottles, and a third batch that started in their jar. So what is kombucha? Kombucha is a fermented tea that you um, brew your tea, uh, either black or green. Um, you can use either one. Um, you brew it and then you bring it to, to room temperature um, and you also mix in sugar with it. And then you put it in a glass jar. And when you put it in the glass jar, you add a thing called a SCOBY, which stands for symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast and the importance of that SCOBY is that it uh, breaks down the um, sugars that are in the that you put into the tea and when it does that it uh, it helps to ferment that the tea that you're that you used so um, you do that for a minimum of about 10 days is the shortest that most people do it um, but we've gone almost 20 days, over 20 days. Some of ours taste fine. It may be a little bit more vinegary the longer you let it go. So it's just got to be more what you like. After you do that, you put it into glass jars. Um, but within that glass, you also put some uh, fruit to give it some more of a, of a fruity flavor instead of just straight fermented tea. By doing that, that also helps to ferment even further because the fruit will have sugars that the um, drink can still break down and, and use and that's also why it gets carbonated too. So just wanted to share with you guys what that's all about and why we're do uh, and the reason why we're doing it is to get that good probiotics um, in our gut because it's a good thing to have good probiotics, good probiotics in your in your system, because um, it, it helps to keep you uh, regulated and um, healthy. Day four of our green tea kombucha. Day six of the kombucha. Looks like there's a scoby forming on the top. And then there's two scobies we started with. Sunday, day seven. Day nine in the morning. Not quite as thick as I thought the scoby would be, but we have cooled down in temperatures. So that slows the growth. We'll keep going. Evening of day nine. <coughs> I mean, I guess it's thicker. Day 12, and it's really still not getting that far along. There's a bubble there. <laughs> That's funny. Well, no, wait, okay, I'm seeing some, some fuzziness underneath, which I think are the yeasty bits. So it's getting there. It's just because it's gotten cooler, it's going slower. And we don't have 
a, um, a heater strip or anything. We probably ought to taste it tonight or tomorrow. See what we think. Yay! All right, so this bottle we have here has kombucha in it. We used it to do our second fermentation of the first batch of kombucha. Um, it's good to have one that has these kind of tops on it because it does get carbonated in it. Yeah, we uh, put fruit in the in this first, and then we pour in the kombucha um, tea um, that ferments in a jar. And then we um, let it sit out for about five to seven days. Um, so not the most, or try to, and then you just start uh, drinking it. And these are our glasses we use. They're, they're little juice glasses um, to portion out. So we're not just taking like a big, huge glass. We're taking um, little bits at a time. Now let me show you how much carbonation is in here, because there is still a little bit of the fermentation process going. Well. Didn't pop as much as I thought it was going to. Our son just woke up. So, and usually we drink this at night, but today we're drinking in the morning. All right, now we're going to drink. So what does it taste like? It's kind of vinegary. Mm. Um, of course, we let this one go a little bit longer, but kombucha is an acetic acid ferment. Uh, as opposed to kefir or kefir, which is, um, okay, brain fart. Lactic acid? Yes, thank you, which is lactic acid. <laughs> but, did you show everybody our scoby in our third batch of Not kombucha? yet. Okay. Malachi doesn't really love kombucha. Do you want to take a taste? Try it. Do you want another taste? <laughs> Not his favorite, but he'll drink it if we if he has to. <laughs> <laughs> He loves the kefir though. He drinks that up like spoon after spoon after spoon or straight from a glass. Yep. But good probiotics. Yes. <laughs> and here's our third batch. Scobies are in there. So you can see the scoby is just starting to, to line the top. It's that filmy white color. And then we've got a mature scoby down here. You want some more? One other sip? He seems to be liking it better this time. The last several times we've given it to him, he hasn't liked it. He'll take like two sips and be like, that's it. Good job, sir. Good boots. Thanks for watching the video. Push the thumbs up to like the video. Also, hit that subscribe button, also the bell, so that you can get notifications when our videos come out. Check us out on our social media pages, too. We have Facebook and Pinterest, and soon we'll have Instagram. The links are below. Bye, y'all! Bye! <laughs> Good job.